Hey guys, D-Rave here. And we're going to be kind of just previewing a little bit here. Uh, hopefully one of my next upcoming videos where we're going to be, of course, taking a heavy, a much deeper look at um, the look for the new offensive coordinator. Uh, sadly, I don't see the Ravens, of course, letting go of Harbaugh. So um, as we talked about in one of my previous videos, it doesn't matter how good of a coordinator this is. It doesn't. Because even if they achieve the ultimate goal, winning a Super Bowl and... Um, you know, making Lamar an MVP quarterback or helping Lamar become an MVP quarterback, I should say, because it's a lot more on Lamar. Um, you don't think he's going to get a head coaching job somewhere? I mean, like, seriously. And this is the issue until Harbaugh is replaced. Harbaugh doesn't have the track record of bringing in a lot of good offensive coordinators consistently. And I don't see that trend uh, changing particularly. So, it's one of those ones I, I don't expect much here. I, um, and we're going to go ahead and put it on record right now that uh, I kind of am calling Harbaugh to be fired before the end of the next season. I think we're going to hire another offensive coordinator that's not really going to put it together. And I think the frustrations are going to boil over a little bit. Um, but we will see. Uh, with that being said, we're going to just quick run down here. Um, again, this isn't the in-depth look. We'll be doing an in-depth look here hopefully tomorrow. But um, per sources, of course, Zach Robinson um, is being looked at. The pass game coordinator there, quarterback coach for the Rams. But it's one of those ones. So this guy has potential. He was basically a quarterback, as they talk about here, a seventh-round pick for the Patriots, kind of bounced around a little bit, yada, yada, yada. Led a good passing attack with the Rams. Cool, cool, cool. Stafford and Cup went down. They struggled, which is when we talked about in my video who I really wanted, which was Eagles and Cowboys, the Cowboys, even when Dak went down, still showed a really good system. And that's one of the issues I have with this hire is, okay, well, Every team's going to have injuries. What happens if that number one wide receiver does go down and he's not back till playoffs? I need you to be able to game plan effectively and get my other guys the ball, even if they have less talent. We can scheme some stuff. We can make this work. Now, I haven't taken an in-depth look at uh, Zach Robinson yet. However, that's going to be my first critique. Uh, moving on, we're also looking at James Urban and George Godsey on the current staff. A lot of people wanted Keith Williams and T. Higgins. Uh, um, T. Higgins, oh my god. I always get him. But Higgins and Williams. Uh, Williams has multiple DUIs, and we talked about earlier, he's a Joel Olstein fan. Uh, you know, the, the Hippocratic pastor, megachurch guy. And um, Higgins... As a history at USC and Tennessee subpar. Um, James Urban, of course, uh, worked with the Eagles and the Bengals. So I'd be a little open to James Urban. However, my first critique of Urban is going to be this. Urban's been in this room for a while, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, four seasons as Baltimore's QB coach. Lamar's still having the same issues that I saw a year ago, two years ago. Um, when it comes to consistency and passing. Um, unless Urban's been basically in Harbaugh's ear from day one about firing Roman and these guys, Urban's not the guy. Um, and I think if we go with an internal hire like that, I don't think it's going to go well. And again, uh, Godsey, our tight ends coach, Texans, um, you know, and then you can see Patriots, Texans, Lions, Dolphins, um, I'm seeing a lot of like Gary Kubiak there, probably not a fan of that one interview offensive coordinator, Justin Alton from Denver, Denver ran for 205 yards in their last uh, game where he was play calling, which fits Harbaugh's. No, 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 just no. I'm going to tell you right now, I have not seen enough on tape from the Broncos passing game, even though of course they lack a little bit of talent. Um, but no, no, just no. Yeah, Browns, Chad O'Shea. Um, need I say more? It's the Browns. Like, it's no, just no. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Browns passing game sometimes does look pretty good, but 
the Browns have just been a dumpster fire for a long freaking time. Uh, of course, he was a Patriots wide receiver coach and while they won their three titles. Gains a little bit credit in my book there, but it's always hard to evaluate Bill Belichick staff because as we've seen, a lot of the staff doesn't do good when it goes somewhere and they go somewhere else. Um, Seahawks, Dave Canales, Canales, um, quarterback coach. Um, you know, I, I don't have too much against this one. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure this one. I'll have to definitely take a little bit of a deeper dive into, but, um, I'm not totally against that one. I have to definitely do some work here. Vikings pass game coordinator. Again, I'm telling you, that's going to be a no. That's. So the Vikings, uh, even, like when we talked about in the trade uh, video, their use of the tight ends was not so good. So it didn't really make sense for the trade, even though like they forced the ball to TJ. Uh, so, mm, yes, they had a top five passing offense in 2022, but you could argue that's on the back of fucking Justin Jefferson. Let's be honest. That, that man's a fucking monster. Um... I don't like that hiring. I'm seeing a lot of tight end coaches. A lot of tight end coaches. Uh, Frank Reich. I know a lot of people have been talking about Frank Reich. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a fan of Frank Reich. I don't want him. Eric Benimi. Now, I know Eric comes with some issues. I would absolutely love that. However, so it's one of those ones... He's not going to leave KC as an O coordinator. He's going probably back to the Super Bowl again. He's not leaving as the O coordinator for a lateral move to Baltimore's O coordinator. I'm telling you, that's not happening. But as a head coach, that's absolutely possible. Um, Bucks former coordinator Byron Leftwich, um, unsure on that. He's gotten a lot of support and sometimes, but at the same time, like I don't know. I I haven't seen really enough like from it myself a lot of these though seem like harbaugh hires and the problem is we're never going to have that offensive stability whoever he brings like case okay, so let's say he brings in uh Benimi or whatever his name is from the chiefs um and we go win super bowl lamar's mvp you don't think Benimi is going to leave to be a head coach somewhere because again, you can't fire Harbaugh after that point. After he wins uh, the the Super Bowl or Lamar has an MVP season, it's going to be really hard to fire him. And it's not. And if Lamar has an MVP season, it's going to be more because of Lamar, more than likely than any of these guys on this list. And I'm frustrated by it. I'm extremely frustrated. I don't think they're looking at the right people. I don't like the. <sighs> What did Lamar run in college? A power spread? Some shit like that. But also, So basically, you could spread it out, but also drop under center and run a power for I formation, essentially like a pro-style offense. You know, because so he has that experience, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that's what kills me. We run... I, just, uh, I don't even know, guys. But, like I said, we're going to be doing another video where we actually really break down some of these guys' playbooks, their tendencies. I'm going to be trying to find some statistics and numbers for you. Uh, look forward to it. As always, guys, D-Rave out. Like, subscribe, follow me for more.